Hello Sagittarius, my name is Agatha and this is the uh, April Oracle reading uh, for 2018. Uh, this is a very general reading. If you'd like your own personal consultation, please write to duniazad at gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. This uh, month is going to be a three card reading. It's going to be beginning, middle and end of the month. And I'm going to use the Magdalene Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. Uh, oi, oi. The Oracle of Visions by Kiro Marchetti. And finally, the Messenger Oracle by Ravine Fallon. All of them beautiful, wonderful decks, and I recommend them. So, Sagittarius, how is going to be the month of April 2018 for you? Uh, you've got to be aware of something or someone who's up to no good in your circle. So, in the beginning of the month, you got perception. So, you have to be aware, you have to keep your eyes open, because there's someone who's, like, keeping their eye on you, because they want something from, from you. They want to uh, fill their own emotional void, and they latch on to you, because they, they think that they, you can do that. Okay, and this could be, like, as a friend, as a romantic uh, possible partner, someone, even a family member, someone wants wants to kind of um, use you some way and somehow. Okay, and you have to be very aware of that. You have to uh, use your intuition and your gut feelings in order not to let yourself be abused by this person, whomever this person is. This could be a coworker, a, uh, a boss, a family member, a friend, you know, possibly partner, a romantic partner. There's someone in your mists. Okay, Sagittarius, in the middle of the month, you got this card, which is number 30. It's like, it's the little red, redding hood, little, little redding hood. Uh, and uh, behind her, there's the wolf. So there's danger uh, uh, surrounding you. There's some sort of danger surrounding you. Someone is keeping their eye on you. This could even be a stalker type of person who's pretending to kind of need your help or something like that. But there's danger around you. If there's someone new coming into your life, you have to be very careful with that person. You have to use your intuition and your gut feeling in order to defend yourself properly. Okay? Okay, Sagittarius? Uh, this could be... Uh, uh, and finally, uh, the last card is number 27, make the sacrifice. Okay, but what is the sacrifice? Well, the sacrifice, maybe, is to confront confront this person. Making the sacrifices, if you want to change things, you have to make a sacrifice and behave in a different way and not always uh, behaving in the manner in which you've always behaved. So making the sacrifice in doing, is doing something different from your normal behavior. So maybe you have to confront this person. You don't have to be aggressive, okay? You don't have to be hostile. There's, there's, there's no need for open conflict. You can just Stand your ground quietly, serenely, and just confront, confront this person in like... The, the sacrifices is maybe that you have to... What you must sacrifice is also harmony. Maybe you don't want to... Uh, maybe you want to be in peace with this person. Maybe you want to be in harmony with this person. But it's impossible. If you want to change things, you have to confront her, for instance, some of you. But it could be in a quiet way, nice way. Or you can just simply say, no, no, I'm not available for that. Or can you, can you help me in this and that? This could be like a very, uh, a person who uh, pretends to be a victim. Uh, and it's, you're always the one that he or she calls. And this time, making the sacrifice is making the sacrifice of a peaceful interaction simply by saying, no, I'm sorry, I'm not available. And no, I'm not available. Okay? So protect yourself, this man, Sagittarius. Protect yourself. So that's it. This is the reading that I have for you. It's a very general reading. If you'd like your own uh, personal uh, consultation, please write to duniazar.gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. Bye-bye.